Hello one and all, this is how to make a Pixelmon server. For any of you who have played Minecraft at all before, and have played with a server on it, it's pretty much the same deal, just a few things are different. Pretty much just adding in a few extra files. So first we'll have you here, on the Pixelmon homepage. See the link right there, I'll include it in the video description below. First off, this will be for the latest version, just so everyone knows, that is 5.0.2 for Minecraft version 10 point, I mean 1.10.2. What you'll need to do to start off, I'm gonna go to this, I'm gonna download the file, save it to wherever you want to put your server. I have a server folder. This is probably where you'd want to make it. Just throw it on the desk. Throw it on the desktop. Call it Pixelmon Server. Whatever you need. Save the file into here. You will need the file to go in to the mod folder. So the server can run off that. Now then, after you're done with that download. You'll need to go to Minecraft Forge. This is what will be running your server. To do this, just come to this website. Links are down here for what version you're using. We're using the 1.10.2. So I have that selected already. You go down here. I usually download the recommended just because that one's usually the tested one that doesn't have any bugs on it at the time. You download the universal one for this as well. It loads up one of these random ads. Just wait through that for a few seconds. Skip through it. Bring up the download. Save it to the same spot. Not the same exact spot, but do that folder. Then you're done with that. Then you go to Minecraft servers. These are old versions of Minecraft servers. Uh, that's not the name of the website. <laughs> it's minecraftversions.net. But, uh, you come over here to the 1.10.2 again. Get your server draw. You download this, throw it into that file. You would run up this, uh, Forge server and, uh, Minecraft. You would start running the Minecraft server. It should bring up one of these, and you... E-U-L-A. It will look like this. This will say false. You just change it to true. Run the server again. It should bring up all these folders. You would take that... You take this Pixelmon folder uh, file that you downloaded and throw it into the mod folder when you run Forge after that. Then, if you would want to, you can make a file like this to have more RAM on your server. That will just make it more smooth as people are playing on it. So if you see here, I would just click on this twice. It runs command prompt with my file on it, saying that it has to have seven gigabytes of RAM instead of the normal one gigabyte. So the server will have more dedication to run at a proper speed. Though we don't really need this up right now. But it just shows you everything it does. This is all loading up right away, assuming that you did everything correctly with your IP and port for forwarding configuration. I'm just going to stop this here. For the port forwarding, you go down here, you type in the IP that you actually need, whatever you have. Type in your server port if it's not there already, by default. 
This area you can also change the game mode you're in, the difficulties, what kind of monsters you want on here. You can change your names to say what the server is going to say when you're trying to load into it on the launcher. Configure that how you want. Just make sure the IP is correct or else your server is not going to connect to the internet. Now for the port forwarding. For the port forwarding you need to go to a website like this. You get to here by typing in your IP address which you can find by accessing your command prompt. You just have to type command in the run menu. You get a screen like this. You can then type IP config. You'll be greeted with a screen much like this. Then you can see your IP right here under IPv4 address. You would write this down so you can use it for the port forwarding process. Now if we go back to that screen before, this is the website when you type in the IPv4 address, you'd be greeted with this screen or something like it. You may have a different cable modem or some, some kind of different router in general, so the screen can look different, but it's pretty much the same concept. You will have bars like this. Usually it'll say something about forwarding, something about ports. For mine, I have to go to my advanced settings, and then I just go down to port forwarding. And here, I already have one created, just to show how this process looks on mine. I would type in my IP address here, type in the ports I need for Minecraft. For Minecraft, it's always 25565. I would want that at the start and end port. You want this protocol as both. You usually want this protocol as both. In the description, I just have it as Minecraft, so I know what it is. And you would want to enable it. You click apply, it'll be down here for port forwarding. And now, when you go to your server, it should start up right away. So, when we go back to our folder then, for our Pixelmon server, and run our little batch file. Oh yeah, remember to actually make this file if you want to use extra M. Remember to save it as, and then all files, and make it a dot batch file. It would just be this, that file extension, and then you would save that. And when you save that, you should see these two little cogwheel things and it says it's a Windows batch file, and then you can run it. And you'll be greeted with a command prompt window, like you saw before. It'll load up the files. Load up everything you need. Establish the connection. Load all the files in for the mod. Connect to the right server IP. Register everything. This will also create your world if you don't already have one. I already have one. My world label is Pokemon. That's just a missing ID thing from an old mod I had. You, you shouldn't have any missing ID things like this at all, so don't worry about seeing something like that either. Because sometimes it happens if you're running an older mod and then updating to a new version. So that's no big deal. It'll run like this. It'll be at 100%. And right now my server is running. So I will show a quick example of how it's running. All you will need to do is log into your Pixelmon account, 
That is just your Minecraft account, so it knows that you're actually using a legal version. This is the Pixelmon launcher. Not sure if you're using it, but you can use it. You would just go into it when you have your correct version picked and your correct profile. Load up Minecraft. So when you get the game loaded up, you'll come back up here. Just go to your servers. You'll see that your server is connected now. This one's mine, so I just hit join it. I only allowed 10 players in at once. Everything would load in. Let everything load in. Then we're greeted back onto our Pixelmon server with all of our Pokemon back out here. And this is a few mods on here, so I have Optifine on as well to give me an HD effect. And yeah, that is how to make a Pixelmon server. Thank you all for watching.